Being able to work and play from the luxury of a yacht is the dream for many. But for Tom Collins Jr., it's a reality. Tom is passionate about sports. He even owns his own NASCAR team. Tom is also a successful entrepreneur, a self-made man who runs his U.S. real estate business from five offices. One of those is his sports fishing boat, the Etc. This was the toughest office to get internet access, reliable, but if I can do it, I don't have to go back, I don't have to stay on shore while somebody goes fishing, I don't have to hang on a phone, I don't have to go back to my office more often when I'd rather be here. Tom loves to fish and entertain guests. We caught up with him and skipper Larry Simons halfway through their trial of the Inmarsat Fleet Broadband 150 in the Gulf of Mexico to see how it has enhanced their day-to-day -day life on board. During the Fleet Broadband trial, we probably covered probably close to 1,000 miles already and we're not done. We'll be here um, for 20 days. And in that 20 days, I can't go a day without internet. I'll have to go on shore somewhere and find a, a wireless connection and sit there for two or three hours if, if I didn't have this system. His wife, Sylvia, and her girlfriends, they were researching restaurants, museums, shopping. Everything's instantaneous. You access it, you have it. There's no more waiting. The speed of downloading files on Fleet Broadband 150 was phenomenal. We share our fishing photos and videos immediately. And with this feature, we didn't have to wait till we got back to port. Fleet Broadband provides voice and broadband internet connectivity simultaneously anywhere in the world through a highly compact and lightweight antenna. The radome for the FB-150 gives us everything that the big guys have now or we weren't able to get because of the size of the domes in the past. Because of the need for flexible connections, a Livewire Connections FB-10 access controller was installed, which allowed them to easily switch between satellite and other communications. They also had access to software, which made navigation much easier. For us, in the, with the sport fish and what we do, the weather comes up relatively quick. We're, we don't travel far like the big motor yachts or super vessels that are out there. This is our second biggest trip from the States to Mexico, and checking on weather or sea buoys, it's a fantastic benefit to have immediate access to. SPOS, we utilize the weather quite often. It gave me wave height, wind direction, wind speed. Getting up to the minute weather information meant Larry could navigate a more comfortable voyage for Tom and his guests. And the fish finding tools enabled Larry to locate a potential catch quickly and more accurately. A neat feature Clearpoint had was the chlorophyll concentrations in the water, which we utilize a lot for fishing. More chlorophyll means more bait fish, means more larger fish, big predators, the food chain and fishing. So we saw the chlorophyll concentrations and we knew there would be fish there. I didn't have to wait to get back to port and find out, okay, I missed the bite 50 miles away or 100 miles on a different island. An Affiant Network video recorder provided security and enhanced Etcetera's guest experience. We have an onboard security camera which does continuous video in our salon interior of the boat. A neat thing about it, we have a video server on board that captures 30 days of footage. If an intruder did come aboard, I would have video footage of that intruder, but with this system it also captures a still photo and with regards to our fishing camera, that's phenomenal. I can tap into the camera itself remotely. So Tom, my kids, I can say, here we are, we're catching fish. They have our IP addresses. They can watch us live anywhere in the world. They don't have to be here. And if they are here, they can share it with their friends. We can give them guest passwords or full access, whatever we want. Being out at sea is fun, but it can also have its hazards. Tom and Larry have the added reassurance of being able to contact shore using Fleet Broadband's free 505 emergency calling feature. If something happens, it's a, a lifeline, a 911 per se. We can pick up the phone and call 505, and we'll have a live person there to walk us through an emergency that we have. You leave the dock, and you get about a mile out, you don't have a lot of options. I mean, this is the option, and it's what makes the difference. With Fleet Broadband 150 on board, Tom, Larry, family, and friends 
can stay in touch anywhere, night and day, for work or play. When you think about being out in the middle of the ocean, even, even if it's just for five or six hours, if you need internet access, you better have something like this, because you won't, you're not gonna get it otherwise. Once the trial is over, I can do what I want, but we are signing up for it, and we're gonna have it on board and keep it as our main source of communication. You know, somebody like me, I, I couldn't live without it. I mean, I'd have, to, I'd have to go back to work. Can't have that.